है सम टाइम बैक आई प्लेड टू सेशन प्लेयर्स टूर्नामेंट विद प्लेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एज अ पार्टनर वी बिन एग्रेसिवली ही टोल्ड मी अबाउट हिम सेल्फ बिफोर द इवेंट बिगैन At the end of the event, when I looked at some of the results and recollected some of the bidding at our table, I noticed that my partner bid quite meekly on at least three occasions. Why did he say that he was an aggressive player? Let's begin with a deal that came up recently. Examine the following auction. This was Janet Day Long on thirteenth October. I had this hand, quintain of spades, queen at seven hearts, and four diamonds, four clubs. Deal number fifteen. I passed, waste passed. Partner Robo opened one club, and East doubled. What would you bid here? Would you bid anything at all? Would you bid one note rum? Would you bid two clubs? Think about it. I didn't think this hand was worth any bid. I simply passed. It went one spade by my LHO, two club my partner Robo, and passed by East. What would you bid now? Two club showed five plus clubs and fifteen to twenty-two points. Would you bid anything? Well, consider this: you have a nine-card club fit. Opponents don't don't seem to have speed fit. They might have some red suit fit. A three club bid suggested itself for two reasons. One, it will announce the fit to the partner, and partner could take it up further if partner liked. Second, it would make it difficult for the East West to find their red suit fit. So I bid three club. The robo bid three note rum, and it went pass, pass, pass. Robo games. The human player declares from either axis. I became declarer from north side. I won heart king. Played a small speed to speed queen. Went back to closed hand with a club. Played a heart and made ten tricks for a score of plus four thirty. Well, I got a hundred percent score playing the Janet Day Long event. Which was the deal? Three notram made for hundred percent score. This was the deal. Let us see what happened at other tables. Almost everyone played in three club. Only one person played. That was three notram from south side, and I went uh, three notram from north side, making ten tricks for hundred percent score. Surprisingly high score. I wondered why. Note that Janet Day Long is a restricted event in some sense. In a typical free day long event on the BBO, the usual participation is twenty thousand plus players. Whereas in Janet Day Long event, it is something to the tune of two thousand, about one tenth that of free day long events. Now this board was played at fifteen different tables. That's a decent sample size. The hundred percent score suggested that there was some bid or some play that was out of the ordinary. Looking at the result on other tables, I realized that none of the other players had made that three club bid. Where you see the results, if you see how the bidding went, it was. Out here, two club pass pass, then two diamond by west, and then three club by north. No three club bid by south on any of these tables. What happened on this table where south bid three no trump? Well, on the first round itself, after one club double, south bid one no trump, which was almost like a gamble. Note that it paid off very well because we slid a heart and three note from mid ten tricks. We might reasonably tag the three club bid as an aggressive bid. At least that is what I thought. Do you agree? Let me know below the video with your comments. You may be wondering why my partner from that pairs event 
described himself as an aggressive player. I have a suggestion for that. When I looked at the methods he played with his regular partner, I realized that he played a lot of purely destructive bids at the two levels. Ekren two diamonds, Muiderberg two heart and two speed. That could come on almost a trash hand, something like 3 to 10 points. In a sense, those bids were aggressive bids. But I would like to differentiate these bids between the two types of aggression. A burglar, upon entering some premises, might smash a few things just so that he finds the price at items faster. That is one type of aggression. On the other hand, a businessman might take some risks with an aggressive spend on marketing or on packaging or simply on choosing an off-bit product itself. Or a gymnast might try a difficult maneuver or a weightlifter might try an unusually high weight. That is a different kind of risk, a different kind of aggression. One is the burglar's aggression and the other is the businessman's aggression, if you will. What do you think? Let me know with your comments below this video. I'll stop this video here. Thanks for joining. Bye for now.